What's up everybody, this is your boy Sancho West bringing you the latest episode of How to Avoid Supers Episode 3. This episode we're going to feature Cat and Emmett. This video is about 10 minutes long because we go really in depth in both of these characters. Of course there's our famous disclaimer, you're still going to die so don't take this as the end all be all. Just follow the directions as best as you can, you'll survive baby. Here we go. Up first we got Cat from Gravity Rush from the PlayStation Vita. Alright, let's check out her level 1 super. It's basically a dash super. Let's check out the distance. It's almost about a far distance. Let's check out how to avoid it. Forward is good from a close distance. Forward at one, you have mixed results, but check it out. If you put a pause before you dodge, you're good to go. Let's see that again. Rest and forward at one, you're good. Now, when you don't do a rest, you're gonna get hit. So don't get anxious, folks. Rest and then dodge, because there's a little startup animation that gives you the time. Back L1 is good to go. Back L1 from medium distance, of course, is good. And back L1 from far is good to go, ladies and gentlemen. Now, neutral jump is going to be good. Basically, all the jumps are going to be fine from any distance because of that startup animation. I really do feel that Cat Level 1 is the easiest super to avoid because there's that little hesitation with that startup animation. I like that. That kind of rhymes. I did that on accident. All right, let's hit the chalkboard. Cat's Level 1. Rest or pause for a split second before dodging forward or back. It's going to help you with that timing. Do not react quickly to the activation animation because when you do that, that's when you get caught. Also, watch out for other players when they're hit with the super because they've become a mini bomb as well. Let's check out her level two. I've been getting a lot of messages about this super, about how to avoid it. And so I'm going to take a little extra time with it if you don't mind. Cat's level two homing debris are kind of tricky, so let's check out the distance first. As you can see, I found this very interesting. It's not a really a full screen, it doesn't home all the way. So these are the things you don't want to do. Do not keep your distance with her. You don't want to get far and you don't want to get close. Mm -mm, don't do it. Also, jumping is not a good idea against a super at all. You're going to get killed easily because you don't have that much agility in the air. Even I tried air dodging, lone ground dodging, doesn't work. So this is what you're going to do. Check this out. This is where you want to be when she activates her super. This medium distance gives you the flexibility to do what I call combo dodge. So basically you can do some air dodging mixed with some ground dodging. As you can see in this little montage, I show you different variations depending on the other player's reaction to your movement. Because being at that distance, you're allowed to move forward, back, air dodge, and you could be able to take advantage of those angles that her homing debris gives you. And of course, if all else fails, you can just give her Sir Daniel's hooch. Here we go, blow! Take that. So let's hit the chalkboard with Cat's level two. Stay in medium range during her startup animation. It gives you that flexibility I was talking about. Do not get caught in far and close. It's not a good idea, especially in the air. And also, take advantage of your combo dodge skills. Now on to her level three. Forgive me for the sound on this aspect, so I'm gonna have to provide some of the sound because it's gonna help you into dodging the super. And like most level 2, she has three different attacks. She has a scratchy scratch, she has a cat lunge, and she has an orb gravity attack, whatever that is. So how do we dodge this? Basically, you want to do combo dodging as well. You want to pay attention to the noises that the cat makes. There are audible cues for her attacks. For her long lunge, she does a long growl, like a meow. And for the short one, she does a meow, 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 meow. That's my best cat impression, folks. So deal with it. So let's go ahead and look at this view one more time. So let's run that footage back so you can see how to avoid the super. So as you can see, the audible cues would be meow, 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 meow. So you have time to avoid the super, folks. But of course, if all this fails, give her the hooch. All right, let's hit the chalkboard with cats level three. Use control dodging to avoid attacks. Make Cat commit to an attack, and due to her slow recovery time, you should get away. Avoid close distance and jumping before startup, and listen to the audible meow meows and the meow to get away. Now we're moving on to Emmett from Starhawk, and as you know, his level one has three different variations, so let's check out the rifle one first. Here's the distance, it's about full screen, but as you can see, it does have a rubber band effect. Now let's figure out how to dodge this. Going forward is good to go, forward from a medium is good to go, and of course, forward from far. So basically, forward is going to be your bread and butter to avoid this super. You can even take a small little mini break and then dodge. Of course, with all projectiles, going back from close to medium is not a good idea. Back from far will put you out of his range. 
neutral jump. Basically, any kind of jumping is going to be good to go because, once again, just like Cat Super, he has that little mini pause before he activates his actual super. So, you're going to be good. Just pay attention. You can't go wrong. Don't be anxious. As you can see, look, pause, boom, jump. I jumped well after he activated that super, and I was safe by a mile. So, a very easy super to avoid. Now, let's hit the chalkboard. So, MS Level 1 Rifle, forward dodging is safe from all distances. That would be the first thing I do if he activates it. Avoid dodging backward from medium to close. Also, jumping from any distance, you're going to be safe. Let's check out his rocket super. Wow! Let's check out the distance, folks. As you can see, it's almost about a full screen super, but it does have a blast radius, so anything closer from afar, you're going to get hit with that. So, let's move on to avoiding the super. Forward dodging is going to be the best thing to do against the super, in my opinion. As you can see, I'm just going to go ahead and not even cut through the edit and just show you that forward L1 is good to go. Now, back is a different story. Dodging back from close is good, but from medium is bad because of that blast radius when you hit that far distance. And of course, dodging from far is good because you're out of that distance. Now, jumping for the super is going to be easy for you because, like all these DLC characters, it seems like they have that little pause. But notice from far, you still hit that blast radius. So you gotta do an air dodge. See that? Air dodge keeps you safe from that secondary blast. Jumping over Emmett's gonna be good from all distances because of that animation. I hate saying it over and over again like a broken record, but it seems as though Cat and Emmett have that same characteristic. Now back jump close to medium is good, but from far it puts you in that blast radius. Once again, air dodge, just like I taught you during Drake's video, you want to air dodge because that is an important advanced skill. So let's review. A simple forward dodge will help you avoid this super. Don't go backwards because you're going to hit that blast radius zone from far. Jumping from any distance is safe when you combine it with air dodging, so learn that. Alright, now on to his shotgun level 1. As you can see, the distance is rather, rather small. It's very weak, in fact. It is an anti-air, so don't jump into Emmett while he has this super. Forward L1 is safe from close to medium, and of course, this is interesting, from far, it's not a good thing to do, it's a no-no because of that secondary blast. As you can see, boom, boom, dead. Don't dodge forward. Back is safe from all distances, close, medium, far, all the way across the screen, doesn't matter. Let's review. Dodging backwards is always going to be safe, period. Do not dodge forward from medium to far distance because you run the risk of getting hit, and don't jump into Emmett, and using your distance wisely, so play the spacing game, you're going to be fine. Now let's check out Emmett's level 2. Drop! Oh my goodness. It's a very easy super to avoid, in my opinion, because of the lag. The distance is about as far. You can just follow Emmett. Look at him. He dodges too, so just follow him. Medium and far forward are not a good idea. You just don't have enough room. As you can see, it's, it's not going to happen, period. Going back into it, not a good idea. So I don't understand why you do that unless you're at a medium distance. As you can see, it's safe. So medium far back, good. Medium close, bad. Jumping forward is good to go because you're following Emmett. Medium of far is just not enough length. I mean, you could do an air dodge or air dash and you should be fine. So, now jumping backwards at a close is not a good idea because you're going into that super. But medium, you have enough space and of course, far as well. So, let's review the level two. Let's hit the chalkboard. Following Emmett's own dodge, that's just that simple. You're gonna be safe. So he dodges, you follow. Avoid getting caught in that medium distance, there's just too much of a risk to survive. From close, you want to dodge forward, and if you're far, dodge back. Now let's check out his level 3. Emmett's mech is a thousand times better than Sweetie's mech. I wonder because it's Santa Monica Studios that also made StarCraft, so there's a little bias there. As you can see, he has air mines, plasma guns, and stomp, but he's just more agile, in my opinion, than Sweetie's mech. So how do we avoid this? Control dodge is not a good idea from close to far because of those guns. And his stomp is a lot faster than Sweet Tooth and actually has a better hitbox, so to speak. So let's see a successful run here. As you can see, I'm going to stay in the safe zone. It's a lot smaller than Sweet Tooth's safe zone, mech. So pay attention again. You see how small it is? It's a small... It's very difficult because the air mines keep you down and the stomps have to keep you up in the air. So do your best. If you die once, it's okay. It's very tricky. Now the second half of the super is this little missile run he does here. What you want to do is run to the left. The left corner of the map, I don't know why, is the safe zone. But be careful because some of his little bullets do have homing mechanics. Alright, let's hit the chalkboard. 
Stay in a small safe zone, use short double jumps, air dodges, and figure eight jumps. Avoid getting stuck at that medium to far distance because those bullets will kill you. And during the missile run, run to the left corner, but stay alert. Thank you for tuning in to this installment of How to Avoid Supers, Episode 3 with Cat and Emmett. Special shout out to Stoic FC for helping me out capture the footage with Cat's Level 3. Next episode will feature Evil Cole, Ratchet, Jack, and Big Daddy. If you like what you see, if you like what you heard, please subscribe and share. Every view and like counts. And of course, if you're down for some live streaming, if you want to play with me, follow me on twitch.tv slash Santo West. Who knows, you might guest appear on one of our live streams of the Blades and Gorillas Gaming Channel. <laughs> Bad kitty. Meh.